Hello Tech Wizards and welcome back to video number 6 in our My Little Rocket series. In this video we will be attaching the launch lug, the nose cone, and the streamer to our rockets. For the steps we'll need our instruction sheet. Specifically we'll need the shock cord mount cut out from the bottom corner here. We're going to need our nose cone assembly from earlier. That's the nose cone and the nose cone base they are glued together. We're going to need our shock cord, the long rubber band piece. We're going to need our streamer material. You all will have the option of either the fluorescent orange plastic streamer or a green or red mylar streamer. and our launch lug. We're also going to need our ruler, one of our good sharp pencils, our super glue gel, our Elmer's glue wall, and some of our wood glue. Let's get started. First we're going to attach the launch lug to the body tube of our rocket. For this, we'll find the line that we marked with the X or with the L for launch lug earlier when we were marking out our fin lines. We'll take our ruler and we'll measure two inches up on that line from the bottom of the rocket. Using our pencil, we'll make a mark the two inch length. right there. We'll grab our launch lug, that's the small plastic feeling cardboard tube. Similar to what we did on the fins, we're going to put a bead of Elmer's glue all down the middle of this launch lug with just a dot of super glue gel on either end. Put our super glue gel on. Also similar to how we attach the fins, we'll put this down on our two inch mark and gently lay it down the length of the body tube following the guideline we drew earlier. We'll hold it there for two or three seconds while that super glue grabs. And then we'll sight down the body tube to make sure that it's in alignment with the fence. Again, hold it there until the super glue takes a good set. And we can take one of our paper towels wipe off any of the excess glue we have that squeezed out. That gives us our attached launch lug. We'll set that to the side and let that glue set up. While it's setting up, we can grab our shot cord mount, our shot cord, and our nose cone assembly. We're going to take our shot cord mount. And this is shown in the attach shot cord step in our direction sheet. We're going to put a few dabs of super glue down the center of number three and number two. I will zoom in here so you can all get a better view of this. And 
and we'll take and we'll lay one end of our shot cord down along those beads of super glue. And hold it in place while that super glue grabs. We can also use the point of one of our pencils to help push it down. You don't want to get your fingers in there, they have a tendency to stick themselves to the super glue on this step. Once that super glue is grabbed, we'll put two dots on top of the rubber band in the middle section. It would have been section two before we covered it up. And we'll put a little glue all on either side of the rubber band. Now we'll take number one and we'll fold it over on top of the shock cord and that Elmer's glue all. We'll do the same thing again in section three. Put a little bit of Elmer's glue all on either side of the shock cord. Fold it over on the dotted line. Push it down a little bit. We should end up with something that looks about like that. We'll let this set for just a few seconds. Let that glue grab a hold of everything. And we'll give it just a slight roll or a slight curve to the shock cord mount. Now we'll get our body tube assembly back. We're going to put a few drops of super glue on the back here. Then we're going to put a little bit of Elmer's glue all in between and to the sides of them. Most of you are going to have small enough fingers that you can do this with your own finger. My fingers are a little bit on the big side, so I'm going to have to get some help from a pencil. I'm going to insert the shock cord mount down in the body tube about an inch. I want to make sure it's far enough down that it clears the nose cone when I insert the nose cone. Once I've got it where I want it, I'll reach in with my finger or a pencil. I'll push the shock cord mount down against the body tube. Hold it there for a few seconds while the super glue grabs. Then we have a good sturdy mount for our shot cord. On the other end of the shot cord, I'll be attaching my nose cone assembly. I'll simply tie that through by looping it through the loop on the nose cone assembly. Tying a double knot in the shot cord. and pulling that knot up good and tight. I don't want to pull it so tight that I break the rubber band, but I want to pull it tight enough that it's not going to let go. Last thing we need to do now is attach our streamer assembly. Again, you'll have the options of the fluorescent orange plastic streamer or the red or green mylar streamers. I'm going to use the Mylar streamer for this sample. On one end I'm going to put a crease in my Mylar streamer by simply folding it over and creasing it. I'll open that crease back up and put a few drops of the super glue gel right along that crease. 
four or five should be plenty. Then I'm going to come back on our shot cord about a third of the way back. You don't have to measure this exactly, but somewhere around three inches. I'm going to lay that shot cord down into that super glue beads. And again, to save my fingers from getting glued to everything, I will take a pencil and push it down into the beads of super glue. Let that grab for a second. Put a few more beads on top of the rubber shot cord and fold that creased part back over and press it down. And then just for a little bit of extra security, I'll take my stapler and I want to make sure that I'm stapling on this side of the shot cord, not over the shot cord itself. I'll just put a staple in there just for a little extra security. Now that the launch lug has had a chance to set up, I'm going to put a little bit of the wood glue on either side of the launch lug. And I'm going to use my popsicle stick to pull back a real small fillet along the edges of that launch lug just to smooth it out. We'll make it a little bit more aerodynamic this way. And we'll clean up any mess with a paper towel. And that concludes the build of our model rocket. Once all the glues are dry, we'll paint it. And then I'll come back with another video showing you guys how to prep this model rocket for flight. Thank you much.